I always think going into each season, what is it that people are going to feel when they walk in? I really think with this, they're going to just feel that fresh life, um, kind of that hope that you see um, at the arrival of spring. And what we're layering into that is the theme of authenticity, which is what we've tied in with the magazine. My hope is that when people see this stuff, that it kind of speaks to them um, in a really personal way. You know, whether it's authentically for me in this season of life, I have a six, almost seven month old baby, I don't have a lot of opportunity to wash my hair, so this is my authentic self. You throw it up and wish yourself luck, put on some earrings and hopefully people won't notice the hair. I feel like I'm figuring out this baby thing mixed with my four children that feel a little older and it's so fun. It's very unpredictable, um, but just rolling with it. You ready? <laughs> hey guys. Oh, those umbrellas look so cute. Yay, I can't wait for you to see everything. Oh my goodness. The umbrellas will start, originate in the wall and then create an arch. And, and this really looks exactly like what you would find in an old house that's 100 years old. Layers and layers of story. That makes me so happy. So I love, I love it. That. What do you see? Do you see a friend? You want to pet it? Like your dad? Your dad loves this thing. What do you think? <laughs> Look at his feet. You like it? Okay. Love the umbrellas. Okay, I love so the layers, I love the florals. It's really subtle, but super artistic. I think it's really pretty. I like that it ties into the wow wall. Good. Okay, then he's come up with a new sound that he's very proud of. It actually sounds like that. And then this, this is my favorite. And then moving on. The branch. To the branch. So is this a portion the of the branch? This is a very small. Because the branch is huge, the right? The branch is, yes, I massive. cannot wait. Uh, I have this. Magnolia tree at the farm. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it looks like. Okay, good. Pardon me, Cruz. He Sorry. Loves, he loves it. Do you have something to say? <laughs> He's kind of like his dad. Yeah. He likes to talk when I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> this is going to feel like spring. I mean, like happy. It's so good. beautiful. Yay. Okay. So I think authenticity just felt like something a lot of people could really resonate with. So what we're hoping is, yes, we're celebrating spring, it's gonna be this burst of color, this celebration of life, but also woven into that is this idea of authenticity, chipping away at the layers and finding your true self and living there, owning it, um, and really thriving. Yeah, I always love going to see the visual team. I feel like I always leave inspired and I'm just like, oh, that's, that's, well, if I could put my office anywhere, it'd be right there, just watching them do what they do. Everything they make, the way their minds work, so creative, so inspiring. It's crazy to think 15 years ago it was me and Chip just by ourselves in a little shop on Bosky trying to finish all the displays and now 15 years later seeing all this unfold is really just a sweet thing. It's something that I'll, I'll never forget the past and those moments were so sweet for us but also seeing how it's evolved um, is really something special.
Chip and my sister's husband took the kids to Dallas for a fun day away. So today we get to play here with our little babies. Is there chocolate in my tea? No? Okay. How long, how many of these are there? There is 1,147. We counted. Wow. The team found these dead branches on the side of the road, picked them up, and then now what you see is this amazing, I think they're called pink saucer magnolias, um, but it looks so real. Right when I walked in, it looked like a real tree. This whole idea came from just the sweet moment that Chip and I had when we were cutting fresh branches at the farm um, that then folded into a magazine story and now you see it here. Uh, so that's what's always unique and fun about these days is seeing these real authentic stories come alive in the shop. But I love this. Thank you guys. Ma! This is art right here. I love that with all the other color, like here you'll see all the blooms that we're bringing in for the season. This is really a natural way to kind of tone all that down so it doesn't seem overwhelming. This is a lot of time, a lot of handmade goodness that happened right here. The team really killed it on this. Can you throw me a cookie? Chocolate chip. Hold on. Hi, Bubby boy, are you ready to come out and play? Are you ready? You know, here we are talking about authenticity. I have to let you in on a little something here. We were in New York City shooting. I was actually pregnant with crew here, so I was hiding behind this um, rain jacket. I was really sick this day, feeling super nauseous, um, and it had been raining that whole week. The second I stepped foot on this street, it stopped raining. So I had friends throwing like bottled water. They were squirting bottled water at me, uh, but we made it. So how's that for authentic, buddy? <gasps> Where is he? There it is. Get it. <laughs> you are so cute. Show them your teeth. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Say bye-bye. He's gonna come with us, I promise. He's gonna come with us. I love that. The story behind this is kind of like what you would see, you know, for us when we do construction, where you get back to that skinny lap, um, but you've peeled back all the layers to get to the authentic layer of that whole structure. Um, and so to me, this is the most important message when it comes to authenticity. That's why we love that it's like the first thing you see when you walk in. And so I think this is just a really kind of subtle but um, beautiful way of just saying all of us have layers in our life. And the idea that the authentic person, the core of who we are, that's who the world needs. I told them I want this thing in my office when it's all said and done, because I need that reminder, that daily reminder to, to be who I was truly made to be. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I love this wall. It turned out better than I could have imagined.